just wanted to pop on here and share that I'm going to be leading a shamanic plant journey this Friday night at Gather in Newport. We're going to be working with Deadly Nightshade, aka Belladonna. It's uh, going to be during their Friday night tea temple offering, and it's going to be a little more casual than the uh, workshops that have been offering. It's just going to be only Belladonna. There's not really going to be the lecture piece. It's just going to be journeying. So I'm just feeling inspired by the Friday night offering to just share a little bit about Belladonna. Um, so Belladonna is in the nightshade family. She is poisonous. Her name Belladonna literally means beautiful woman. And this, and this name Belladonna comes from an ancient Roman practice where women would put drops of Belladonna into their eyes to make their pupils enlarged, giving the appearance of arousal. Um, its Latin name, Atropa gets its name from one of the Greek fates, Atropos, which name literally means inevitable. And Atropos was the fate who was in charge of cutting the thread of life, deciding the time of death for every human. So Belladonna can be used as an antidepressant, anti-anxiety. She can help treat insomnia. She can aid in lucid dreaming. She is an antispasmodic, a very strong painkiller, and very strong aphrodisiac. She's great when applied topically for menstrual cramps. Um, energetically, she's very much aligned to the heart chakra and sacral chakras, and she helps to open these chakras up and help to move any stagnant energy. She has a very cutting energy. She doesn't beat around the bush. She reminds me of wrathful deities in this way. She's gonna point out where you have trauma, and what, through working with her, you're gonna know what's going on. She's also by far the sexiest plant spirit I've ever